is Christian Hoy. I originate from Hong Kong and I'm a social worker. I currently work at Asian Community Aid Services. I am a lover of opera and dessert and I am a person living with HIV. I was at the clinic and uh, the person told me that I was HIV positive. I, I remembered, I thought, oh my god, my world just ended. I was 25 then and I, I think the news really um, shook me in a sense that uh, it made me felt my life has ended because of all the stigma and discrimination that other people living with HIV were facing. If I had known what it's like to be living with HIV now, I probably would have told uh, the younger me then that, you know, it's okay, everything will be okay. You can live a long life and healthy life, productive life as a person living with HIV. I think even before I was ready to disclose, I had to actually work on my own internalized stigma. So um, I actually remembered, you know, during the first year after my initial diagnosis, I found a big depression. It's probably, you know, stemming from a sense of immense shame that I felt within the Asian community. We often don't talk a lot about, uh, you know, sexual health or HIV uh, openly. You know, the misinformation that I got as a, a child, as a teen, uh, around HIV really got ingrained in me. So uh, those layers of stigma and discrimination kind of made me felt like I was unworthy as a person because I got tested HIV positive. I felt I was not lovable or I was not worthy to be, you know, a member of society. When I disclosed to uh, my father, you know, I disclosed to him when I was much younger that I was gay, and then I also disclosed to him, you know, years later that I was HIV positive, and he told me, you know, son, I'm, I just love you the same as I would. Um, because you're my son. And uh, I, I think that was really beautiful. Um, and I recognize that that might actually have been quite difficult news for him to take, yet he did it with dignity and respect and compassion. So um, yeah, I think that's very dear to me. This Valentine's Day, I want to let you, my lovely fellow peers, uh, folks living with HIV in Canada and Turtle Island that um, you're loved and um, as people living with HIV I think we can actually fight stigma and discrimination by leading by example so I'm going to offer each and every one of you loving kindness from my heart to yours. Mm -hmm.